Slaughter was part of the uh, After Dark Film Festival, I think it was 2008 or 2009. And it essentially is the story of a woman going to live with, going back to her, her old hometown to live with some friends. Seriously, the first 45 minutes is just two girls hanging out, going to clubs and talking. But it's dull. So the first part of it is pretty dull. It's like an hour and a half long movie. So the first half of it you could pretty much skip. It's just them going to clubs, drinking, and hanging out. You later find out <clears throat> that one of the girls has a troubling past. You know, it's the uh, it's the fairly standard like beaten, abused, sexually molested sort of thing you see in a horror movie. So what she's currently doing is she essentially goes out, gets a gets a new guy every single night, takes him home, and then kind of kills them. Okay. I'm thinking with slaughter. I'm thinking like wholesale massacre, not. You know, oh great, here's another movie with its where it's like killer rednecks, but it, it, it's dull up to like the last half an hour where they finally put in the whole motion like, oh, the reason I'm me and you are great friends, uh huh, is we look kind of similar. Okay. So my plan is to kill you, have people think that I killed myself, and then I can go and have a regular life again. In fact, that essentially is is the, the, the plot of the movie. It's it's a girl who was beaten and molested by her, her father who goes on a, a mild killing spree of men that she sleeps with and then her masterful plan to befriend somebody who's kind of her size of kind of like her remove one of her teeth, rip out one of remove one of her, the girl's teeth, move out one of her teeth, put that tooth next to the body shoot her in the skull, therefore just leaving like teeth fragments, and then burn the whole place down. Therefore, when they're doing the, uh, you know, the investigation later, they will find, you know, some shattered teeth and shattered remains, but they'll find one good tooth, which will be her tooth, and she'll be able to get entirely scot-free from the mass killings that she's done. The last half an hour is about the only good part of this whole movie. Because that's when everything actually starts to happen. You know, there's there's a scenes where it's, you know, some torture. And the very, very ending of it, after the villain is essentially pretty much victorious, it essentially ends with uh, <clears throat> her ready to gun down her younger brother. They don't actually, I don't believe you don't actually hear the gun go off, but essentially when you walk up to a car with a loaded shotgun and point it in the face of your younger brother, while you're crying, it kind of signifies that she also killed her younger brother. So essentially she killed a ton of boyfriends, her father, her best friend, and her younger brother. I know I ruined the entire movie for you, but the first, like, four minutes to an hour is just tripe. It's slow. It's shot beautifully. The location shots are nice. But it ends up coming down to almost like standard, everyday... Here we have redneck killing family. The only difference is the surviving victim girl is also the killer. 